So we just noticed some bear prints here. You can kind of see them like right there. We go out to the trees over there. just me this time. I'm here in Hope, Alaska with a couple of girlfriends uh, for an all-girls hunting trip. This will be my first hunting trip so I'm really excited to do it with them and we're gonna stay in this cute little cabin and plan out all the rest of our details. In a minute I'll give you a tour of the cabin so you can see what that's like. Uh, it's just a small little area inside with a loft up in the top um, but just enough room for a bed and a little futon. Yeah. But I'm really excited about this hunting trip. Um, I recently got my grandfather's hunting rifle um, after he passed away. And so it has a lot of meaning that I actually get to use it for hunting now that I'm getting into that up here in Alaska. Especially makes me feel really connected to him in a way that I, I wasn't before. Also, the other night I went out with my friend Tyson and we sighted in the rifle at the range and that was a lot of fun. We had a great time. So we're ready. We sighted it into 200 yards and, and I'm excited and nervous. Can't wait. So the plan for the weekend is we're staying in Hope tonight and then we're going to go um, to, a, we've got a couple of spots in mind and I'm not exactly sure where because up here people are pretty secretive about where they go hunting and fishing. So I don't know the exact details. I'm just going along for the ride a bit, but I'll give you a little more information as we know. And, uh, and yeah, we'll see how it goes. Thank you guys for watching. Please continue following along with us for this adventure. Like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. And hit the bell for notifications on when our videos drop. And thanks for coming along, guys. Yeah, I'm really excited to go on this hunting trip. This is something I never thought I would get into. It wasn't until moving up here and I started talking with people here about hunting and their connection to just the animals that they've hunted and the way that they respect those animals and use all the parts of the animals and they never forget an animal that they've hunted. And also, you know, aside from that, just the fact that everyone shares those things with each other up here as well was enough to start getting me interested. Also, I, you know, for health reasons, I've found that wild game doesn't make me sick the way that processed meat in the grocery store does. And that has been a really big revelation for me in my, in my own health. And so I wanna feel connected to the food that I'm eating and understand where it comes from and the consequences of those things. And that's a personal choice. And so hunting is also a way for me to do that and really care about what I'm putting in my body and to feel good. Good morning, everyone. Uh, we are slow to get up this morning. We decided, since it's pretty warm here today, it's about 76 degrees, um, that we're gonna do a later hunt. You know, try and glass for bears and maybe hopefully get one in the evening when it's a little bit cooler and they're milling around. So we're getting a little bit of a, a reprieve. We get, got to sleep in a little bit. Uh, we're packing the cars up and uh, we're about to head out to breakfast and then head out to hunt. 
I still don't know exactly where we're going. I haven't been told, so I'll update you guys along the way. But this is a great little Airbnb here in Hope. Um, I believe it's called the End of the Road Cottage. It was perfect for the three of us, and we're feeling rested. We're gonna get some caffeine, some food, and then head out. Follow along. today um we're gonna go a little bit south in the moose pass region can't tell you where top secret top secret but <laughs> we think there's a good spot where we can glass like a really big hillside and the area is known for bears so let's do it we are hopeful a little deep on the hat deed it up deed it up do your good deep for the day <laughs> <laughs> Hey everyone, we're stopping on the trail for a quick water break. It is hot. It's really hot. We are unzipping all the vents in our pants. We all happen to have the same matching QU pants, which just came out with a line with zippers in the side for vents. We're looking really cute. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and yeah, we're, we're unzipping everything we can because it is hot as hell. I'm about to take my shirt off. Yeah, yeah we might, so might start hiking in sports bras. It is what 76 degrees, something like that. It's supposed to be and here, we're going uphill. Yeah, going uphill. We have shade, but we're carrying heavy packs and our rifles, and we're sweating. But that kind of weather here in Alaska is like, night feels like 90 degrees. Yeah. It's so like the long, slow bake of the all day sun. <laughs> I'm continuing to work on my long sleeve tan lines. Mhm. Mm She's got a good uneven tan going. Yeah, Tanya, why don't you tell them about your trip yesterday? Um, so I'm not carrying my rifle today because I took mm. Lauren to the spot, which was fine. We'll slip. And then we decided that we're going to not go <laughs> not go all the way around to come back the way that we went. And thought we'd take the shorter way down, which was just all dead fall and overgrown brush because there was fire a couple <clears> years ago. It's a mistake. And on uh, one of the dead tree brush piles I broke through and landed pretty hard on my gun and probably knocked my scope because it was mainly on my scope and I didn't want to shoot at something today and like make a bear real mad <laughs> <laughs> and so um I'm playing guide today she's our backup she's That's got her really, nine mil it's really really scary thought that I'm playing guide but, uh, um, she's doing great and then yeah we'll show you the bruises on our legs later from mm, our yeah. wonderful we got some good bruises it was type two fun yesterday for sure maybe three, maybe three. Yeah. We almost still deciding 2.5 all right we'll keep you updated along the way but we're we're just wrapping up our our rest break here and we'll see you guys at the top you 
we just noticed some bear prints here. You kind of see them like right there. fail. <laughs> don't think they were tight enough. Oh. Let's see how much water we got. Mm. Yeah, no wonder my feet are cold. <laughs> Always wear wool socks. <laughs> yeah, much easier to dry out. Yeah. And your feet stay warmer than normal. Yeah. What are you doing? Mm. I stole the spotting scope from Lowe. Thanks, Lil. <laughs> Thanks, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> From Blondie I, I, and the bush pilot. I That's it. right. Bush pilot. If you guys want another awesome Alaska uh, YouTube account to follow, Blondie go. The bush That's right. Go like, comment, and subscribe on Blondie and the Bush Pilot. We don't have any video editing skills, so it's just raw footage of super cub adventures and hunting and fishing and a lot of crazy antics from my Vishla. All the good stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm just on Instagram. I'm not as cool. <laughs> She's along for the ride. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, star. All right, Tanya, tell us about this. Um, so we basically picked a spot that we could sit, that we have a nice view of the hillside. Um, there's a lot of snow up top, but it's melting and all that fresh green is stuff that bears like. And we're hoping that one's going to come out of the woods to come enjoy some food. Not so much over there, it's too snowy. Yeah. If we don't see anything over here, we are going to go to the far side of the lake where that other hillside is green. We'll probably sit here for an hour, maybe two. Depends on if I want to take a nap or not. Um, and just take turns looking for bears and snacking and... And napping. Napping. Yep. Snacking, most importantly. Yeah. Yes. Most importantly. And we hydrating. Don't, we don't want hangry yet. We don't want to be dehydrated like yesterday <laughs> on the flat stuff when I managed to get my heart rate to 170 and then realized I did not drink nearly enough water. Yeah, let's not do that. So, yeah. All of the fun things. All, All the fun things. things. We are up here at, the, at our glassing point. Uh, we've been up here for a couple of hours. And uh, I think because it's been so warm, the bear has, bears haven't been out yet. I think they're, we're all, they're all napping in the brush and the trees. Um, but it's starting to cool off, so we're hoping that we actually get to see some soon. But we're going to hang here for just a little while longer and, uh, and see if we get lucky. We'll update you if we see something. So we just finished our all girls hunting trip for bear. We're alive. We're alive. We survived. And we saw a wolverine. <laughs> we did. So we didn't see any bears. They all avoided us. Um, and we stayed up there for how long? Six, six hours. hours. Yeah, we glassed for about six hours, um, but no bear activity. So eagle eye over here. Spotted a wolverine from a thousand yards. It's a talent. With no. the binoculars though, not with bear eyes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's a talent I never knew I had, but it will hopefully prove useful, you know. Yeah. At least we got to see one wolverine. Hopefully it'll be useful for other animals too. But super fun girls trip, just getting to hang out with three of us. Um, matching pants? We, matchy, we matchy. all have matching pants. <laughs> and two of us have Crocs. <laughs> Someone needs to 
I have them, I just don't have them on. So <laughs> oh, we all have matching tattoos now. Too. Yeah, so we got all their tattoos. You can't see mine because I've got the camera, but yeah. Lo showed us how to print a, uh, make a print of a, an alder leaf onto our hands. You got a mosquito on you? Yeah, they're everywhere. Mosquitoes are out. Mosquitoes are out. They're trying to eat us. Um, we're just going to get a quick bite and then head back home. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm starving. I can't wait. Yeah, I'm we're so ready for food and maybe a drink. Um, yeah. Fed. Thanks. Fed yeah. <laughs> Thanks for following along, guys. Um, again, please uh, like and comment on the video and subscribe to our channel. Also, sub subscribe to Blondie and the Bush uh, Bush Pilot. Follow me on Instagram. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. And also hit the, the bell for notifications for when new videos drop. Thanks for following along, guys. <laughs> she tried so hard to not mess up. I know you can edit this. Um.